I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. This one's been on my to-do list for a while. I'm making Chrome's Falchion Sword from Fire Emblem. Chrome's Falchion Fire Emblem Sword is actually a pretty elaborate build. I found a pattern on the internet, blew it up to approximate size that I wanted, laid out a paper template, traced that down onto a quarter inch thick by four inch wide sheet of 5160 steel, and forged the tang underneath the power hammer after it was cut out on the bandsaw. Plasma cut a slot where I wanted to drift into the hole in the middle of it. Then I ground a fuller down the middle of the blade with a 2 inch contact wheel and I'll be grinding the edges of the blade with a 10 inch contact wheel. I'm forging the blade, I'm grinding the blade, I'm doing the heat treatment and we're casting the bronze in house. The pommel and hilt is going to be cast in bronze. We've taken RTV silicone rubber box molds and we injected wax and we're sprueing that up right now. Anytime we get a little bubble in the wax that dries, we have to refine that. We're using a wax pen to melt out that hole and pour more wax into it to build it up. We'll be investing that, putting the Plaster of Paris type investment over the top of it in a flask, basically a coffee can shaped piece of stainless steel tubing, and then that'll be burned out in the burnout oven. It's another electric heat treating kind of oven that causes the wax to melt out of the holes, and where the wax was, we pour molten bronze into it under a vacuum. The vacuum sucks the molten bronze as we're pouring it into the top and gives us a good solid casting. The blade, I've heat treated it and I'm currently tempering it so it's in my heat treating oven at about 550 degrees through the night which bring it up to about a 54 or 56 Rockwell. Grinding this blade is going to be the hardest work on it. The blade was 4 inches wide when I cut it out. I drifted out the hole. I was hoping to get it closer to 6 inches. Keeping the center fuller or the groove down the middle of it, keeping that trued up and getting everything else on there is pretty difficult. Plus when it goes around to the hole or donut in the center, I have to bevel that around the hole and bevel the exterior of that and match it up to the bronze casting. So I'm not going to do a huge amount on it yet. I'll refine it after I have the bronze casting back to match everything together. We've just pulled the rough castings out of the flask after casting them. So this will be cut out and matched into the blade. Here's the Delrin grip that goes on here. And here's the cast pommel that I've also started cleaning up. The whole thing will go together a bit like this here. After the hilt and pommel were sanded and polished adequately and everything fit together well, we shaped up the Delrin grip and I had Johnny wrap it with a leather lace for the full length on a spiral wrap and that looked pretty good. Sharpen it up and ready to go. This isn't my first video game sword. Hit the subscribe button below to see more awesome blades. Thanks for watching, and if there's something you want to see next, leave me a comment, and I'll build it for you.